The number of children being admitted to the hospital with COVID-19 in Charleston is going up. That's right. That's according to experts at the Sean Jenkins Children's Hospital. They say 40% of all their COVID admissions have occurred in the last two months. This is Katie Augustine heard from two pediatric doctors who say more cases of COVID means more children in need of intense treatment. A vulnerable population being impacted by the Delta variant. Children across the low country being admitted to MUSC at an alarming rate as doctors say the Delta strain is highly contagious and can cause more severe illness. I know we're all ready to go back to normal, whatever that means, but um, we can't. The impacts of the latest COVID surge being felt at the Sean Jenkins Children's Hospital. We've not only seen a surge in the acuity um, or the severity of illness, but also um, in the volume of kids needing hospitalization. A large portion of COVID cases at MUSC Children's recorded in August and September. Children that are hospitalized with COVID from March 2020 through the end of September um, 2021, 40 percent were just in those two months. And more kids needing intense treatment. We have seen more kids requiring ventilation, more kids requiring ECMO. 11 children put on ventilators in the last two months and five children needing a life-saving machine called ECMO. Cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, Miss C, also high, most in healthy children. Just in September, 25% of our, percent of our cases occurred in that month alone. These numbers show kids are not out of the woods when it comes to COVID-19. Both doctors say the safety of children is in the hands and arms of vaccinated adults and that every child is someone's child. Or I've heard people say, oh, well, only 20 in the state have died. These are people's children. In Charleston, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two. State